The CCNA is dead. Long live the CCNA. Okay, so if you're studying for or thinking about studying for your Cisco CSENT or CCNA, you've probably heard the news by now. Cisco is pretty much redoing their entire certification structure. CSENT, gone. CCNA routing and switching, gone. Now we will have one all-encompassing CCNA. You can take a look at the exam topics on Cisco's site. I'll leave a link in the description. A lot of people, including myself, are excited about these changes. However, a lot of people are also concerned. For those of you already studying for or thinking about studying for your CSENT or CCNA, you're probably not sure about what you should do. However, my advice to you and Cisco's advice to you is keep going and get the current CCNA. If you get your CCNA by February 23rd of 2020, you'll automatically receive the new CCNA certification when the new structure comes into place on February 24th. Now you may be wondering, do I have enough time to complete the CCNA by the end of February? The answer is yes, you absolutely do. The CCNA is a big exam and it's no walk in the park, that's for sure. But I managed to complete my CCNA in eight weeks and that's starting from no networking experience. In this video, I'm gonna show you how. There are plenty of well-known CCNA courses and plenty of well-received and excellent ones out there. However, the one I used is by Neil Anderson it's on the website udemy.com, which has tons of great courses for cheap, as well as tons of not so great courses, but you can typically tell which courses are good by the reviews. Just type in CCNA. You can see his course here, second from the top. Now, I live in Japan, so my prices are displayed in Japanese yen, but this is about 200 US dollars. The price will be displayed in your local currency. The courses above it and below it are about 20 US dollars. But don't worry, this is just because the course isn't on sale at the moment on Udemy. However, if you want to get the cheapest price for it at any time, go to Neil Anderson's website, flackbox.com. Scroll down and click here. This will take you to Udemy, this time with a 95% discount. Now you can get the course for about 10 US dollars which is absolutely a steal. This course includes lectures on everything you need to know for the exam, downloadable slides, and plenty of practice labs to get practical experience doing configuration in Cisco IOS. Note that I don't get any kickback from sales of this course. I just highly recommend the course as it was super helpful for me. Neil includes a six week study schedule five weeks to complete the course, and one week for review. I recommend following this schedule, but then adding a couple extra weeks to fill in any weak spots you might have with the resources I will mention later in the video. Now, while you are studying, it's important that you actually remember what you have studied. For that purpose, I recommend using the flashcard program Anki, which means memorization in Japanese. Make flashcards for every little fact you want to remember, including configuration commands. I had made probably around 2,000 or even more cards by the time I took my CCNA. Make them as you study and review them every day, letting Anki schedule the reviews for you. Okay, so you finished Neil's course or whatever other CCNA course you chose. You've made your flashcards so that you actually remember what you've studied, and you've done plenty of practice labs. Now, the next thing I highly recommend is to go to boson.com and buy their CCNA practice exams. Again, I get no kickback from Boson for this recommendation, but I have used Boson's practice exams for my CCNA, CCNP, and CCNA security, and they're just awesome. Their CCNA product includes five practice exams. Note that I don't recommend taking these exams multiple times. Instead, first take one exam. The score will show you which areas you are weak in. Then take a couple days to study, focusing on your weak points, then take the next exam and repeat the process. By the time you go through these five exams, you should be more than ready to take on the real thing. Note that you shouldn't be disappointed if these exams kick your butt, especially the first few. Boson exams tend to be harder than the actual thing, which I personally think is good, certainly better than being too easy and making you think you're ready when you're really not. Now, how exactly should you study to fill in your weak spots? First of all, read through all of the explanations for the Boson exams. 
Every single question includes explanations for why the correct answer is correct and why the incorrect answers are incorrect. They also include links to helpful reading materials online. This is also a good time to get a book. I recommend this monster of a book. Actually, this is only half of it. There's another one that's just as big. Cisco's official certification guides can be a little hit or miss, but Wendell Odom's CSENT and CCNA guides are absolute gold. Once you've figured out your weak spots, read the corresponding chapters of the books and continue making flashcards. This should really help you fill in your weak spots. I also highly recommend you continue labbing. This would be a good time to go through David Bomble's CCNA Packet Tracer Ultimate Labs course from Udemy. You get over 50 practice labs to help you prepare for the exam. Also, of course, I recommend my lab videos on YouTube, although I'm just getting started so they are far from comprehensive at the moment. Okay, once you've done all that, you should be more than ready for the exam. I did it in eight weeks. Some people take less time, some people take more time. Just know that you have more than enough time before the new exams come next year. If you dedicate yourself and put in the time every single day, you should be able to get your CCNA in a shorter time than most people will tell you is possible. Not only will you be ready for the exam, but you will have the practical knowledge and configuration experience, so you'll be ready to start looking for entry-level networking jobs, assuming that's your goal. Anyway, that's all for this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section and I'll try to help you out. Also, if you want me to make similar videos for the CCNP and CCNA security, also let me know in the comment section. If enough people are interested, I'll gladly make them.